Well, good morning everybody. I am back out here on the nine acre pond project this morning. Got the 220 moved up here. I've got two, I've got the Thunder Creek trailer gonna fuel it up and grease it this morning. Uh, I've already addressed one little spot. I noticed I had a, uh, a oily spot right there. So I uh, spun the machine around and saw that panel right there was wet and actually just took that cover off and there was a little little quarter inch hydraulic line. I guess it's a pilot line or something for the controls was leaking a little bit loose. So got that tightened up. Luckily, uh, I noticed that. That would have eventually vibrated loose and uh, this machine's gonna be doing some dredging. So that would not be good to be out there in the pond and a hydraulic line come loose. So I'm glad I got that tightened up. We'll go ahead and grease this thing first thing this morning and take it over there where uh, I think he's got the cutter on his excavator. We're gonna cut those trees up and I gotta go down there and bust the beaver dam. Evidently the beavers are back. All right, so I brought the 220 down here. I'm gonna take the grading bucket off. He's on his John Deere 200. He's actually got a Rotobeck grapple head on it there. Um, he's gonna cut these trees for me. I need a few logs. Um, a little squeaky there. I need a few logs to kind of get through the uh, busted pond dam. I'm gonna kind of just use these as mats. And uh, I took all these trees down, so we have the easy chainsaw here, so. I'm gonna let him cut me some logs out of that. We'll get this stuff cleaned up. there's something wrong with the the saw he said it wouldn't go all the way down for some reason huh wonder what's up with it all right well, I'm gonna go down here and start cleaning up some of these treetops and uh, that works. Start throwing all this into the burn pile. He's going through the logs there, getting those cut. And I got a grapple pool of about four of them, I think. I'm gonna head down here to the pond dam, uh, kind of lay these in there and cut the, uh, or knock that beaver dam out. We'll see what we got when we get down there. Kind of finish working through that and getting that mess cleaned up. Making my way back down here to the breach in the dam. Looks like the beavers fixed the, uh, the spot I busted. Back. See, I'm gonna have to make a little better repair than that, or uh, take out a little bit more. Go ahead and grab these willow trees. Clean that mess out.
brush out before I bust that. That way it doesn't float down there to the neighbor's pond. Then I can kind of put my logs in there where I want them. that tree top up get all that broke up and out of the way before uh, kind of laying my logs in there to build my path across well I guess my log busted the beaver dam there I went to uh, break it there and it kind of slid over I wasn't paying attention knocked it down so we're letting a little water out trees do not want to break. Normally the pine trees will break up pretty good. But this one's being a little a little more difficult for some reason. branches out and uh, we'll make a path across this low area. Let's build my road here now. Go ahead and grab these big trees. Kind of lay these in the bottom here of the ditch. And I'm going to use these logs as mats be able to get through here with the excavator. Stump in the center. 
because it won't float away with that stuff on there. These logs might float away. Since they don't have a stump on them. I don't want that in the neighbor's pond. down there has a adjustable riser he went ahead and lowered it that way it can handle all the extra water it's getting right now not cause any problems tall beaver dam there. So I made it to the other side here and I want to grab that willow tree. Go ahead and get it knocked down. busted in too many spots and let a wall of water through. All of this is eventually going to be pretty far underwater so I'm really not too worried about cleaning all this up.
pretty big beaver dam right here. and take it up there to him get all that piled up up there and then probably work on uh, lowering that beaver dam a little bit more I said, I'm just gonna try to slowly let it down I don't want to uh, overwhelm the overflow in the pond right downstream here so slow and steady this down a little bit more looks like I've let it down maybe six inches Logs don't float away. Everything's pretty well mashed into the ground there, pretty good now. Last thing I want is my logs to take off down there to the neighbor's pond. That'll start draining it down pretty quickly now. All right, well, I think I need to go get the 350 now, come down here and take down that big pine tree. And uh, first I'm gonna grab these couple over here, just to open this up a little bit more. Then uh, head over there to the other side. Time to jump on the 350. Go take that great big pine tree down. I got the stumper right there. That should help kind of break that and push it over the dam here. Let's go get it done. Inside this big old pine tree and see if I can get it to fall over. Take a pretty good chunk out of this pond dam, I think. Which what I think what I'm gonna do when I widen it is just take the top and just cut it down three or four feet. Push it down the slope there and then just build it back on top of that. That way I can go ahead and just have my width. As I go up, it'll just be a whole lot easier to compact in there. Thank you. 
to go, but it's not going exactly where I want it. I want it to go right there and it wants to go to the right of that tree. Have to be careful when it's loose like that. And actually pull it over onto me. power to be able to guide a tree like of this magnitude. This is a big tree. I know stuff doesn't look that big on camera. But that's a that's a pretty good size pine tree. For where it's located.
of the woods. Come on. down here and spin it around over into the pile once I get past these trees right here. Like so. Big tree. Timber. I got my timber earlier. Had to do a uh, postponement timber. Okay, so I got the trees down, moved up there, and lower that down a little bit more. It's draining down pretty good now. I'm going to make my way across with the 350. I see I got a log that floated loose. from lunch here I'm gonna take the 220 and help him finish cleaning these trees up we got all this stuff cut up get it walked over here and put on the burn pile then go over there to the other side of the pond dam where I took those other trees down and get all that stuff cleaned up all right so let's get some more of this brush piled up to the burn pile he's over there uh, oh, it is 200. Uh, cutting the logs up. He's got one of those rotobeck heads. There's something wrong with it. Uh, the uh, saw only cuts like halfway down. It just it won't go anymore. So, but I think he's tired of messing with it and is just going to use it as it is. Cut this stuff in half, you flip the logs over and cut it the other way. We're not really trying to save anything, so it doesn't really matter if it's split all to pieces. It's getting cut, and don't have to use a chainsaw to do it.
plaster with a bucket and thumb to clean up all this stuff. So I'm going to run and grab all those piles. Either transfer them or just grab them and walk them down here. I'll probably just grab them and walk them down here. Just as simple to do that. My stuff a little bit cleaner. And that's where we're going to get all the dirt from that hill right there to fill in the pond dam. this up get all this cleaned up well most of everything is drained out of the beaver pond there's a little bit left right there I'm going to finish digging a ditch through here and move a couple of those logs I'm gonna cross over there and work on those trees piling all that up I've gotten all of these trees taken down and put over there into the pile and let this finish draining down while I'm working on that over there. Then I'll come back, get the grading bucket. Uh, clearing pretty much is going to take all day today and get ready to start on the dredge work of that cove up there tomorrow. So I think there's a few fish left out here. I'm going to go ahead and dig a nice little defined ditch right here. Way everything can just kind of go out into the other pond over here and they can have the fish Probably going to level out to about the same level there. So the fish are smart enough, they'll just travel down the ditch here to the other pond. They can figure it out how fish can be a little difficult sometimes so to be determined but the logs worked really good kept me from getting stuck he actually got his excavator stuck down in here had to get a wrecker to pull it out a year or so ago I wanted to make sure I put my logs in here. I'm going to have to dig all this out, dam it up real good when it's time to 
fill this in, but right now there's a potential for a hurricane on the weather, so I can't get excited at all about doing anything to this pond dam until I know that that weather is going to be gone. I got a little exciting. into there. So, I don't know what all's in there, but find out there shortly. Go the fishy fish. All right, fishies. Go downstream, go into the pond. You have a new life waiting for you over there. If not, you're going to get smashed. All right, I'm gonna go get the grading bucket, fill it with fuel, and uh, get over there and start on the dredging work. Got, uh, it's only 3.30. I'm actually staying down here, he has a house, so. Yeah, be working uh, till dark just about. So I brought me some logs up here to be able to drive out there and clean this head section out. First I'm gonna do is go around that corner over there, dress all that bank up over there. And then whatever I can't reach from that bank, get down in there and start laying it over here. When the pond is full, the water actually comes all the way up to like somewhere right in here. -ish. I think, well, right there, I put a mark. So all this will be underwater. I want to dig this out, get a little more depth, lay that material up here. If it won't stay up here, we're just going to pile it up up there and he can reuse it around the farm here. Let's get to dredging. So let's get started on the grading. That's top of bank. That's gonna be about five feet deep. Water's about six inches from the top. So there's five feet right here. That's pretty good. For a cove. So what I'm gonna do is run down this edge I think he's already kind of come down with his excavator and kind of shaped it up, cleared it. I'm just going to get all the grass out and reshape the bank. This side right here really isn't bad. The far side is what really needs to be dug out. So I'm just going to kind of pull some shape to this edge, transfer this stuff back, and then see if I can go down possibly the creek there or the ditch with those logs maybe just look all that up or heck I might be able to actually uh, drive on this side I was gonna have to see what the ground looks like once I get uh, get down in there
grass, which makes it even more difficult to grade. But I get this shaped up and then probably spend the rest of the day working on this bank. And tomorrow, head off into the pond there to start digging that mess out. Save the mud and goo for one day there. stuff back. So I'm making my way around to the head section here. Just kind of grabbing this stuff and slicking everything up. This is going to end up being probably a pile of topsoil over here. There's some good organic stuff here. Separate some of this grass and mess, but just trying to trim that slope out. I think we probably just need to cut probably a little bit more defined swell through here need to dig this out. The pond's never gonna make it all the way up here, I don't think. So I laid that pile in the edge of the pond thinking I can go over there and reach it. Just kind of dig my way back around. Transfer that over. Was the plan behind that and I'll have to sit here and transfer it all the way around the pond. I think I just throw it over the pond. some good topsoil when it dries out. There's a little more up here than I was expecting. So nice to be able to use the thumb with the grading bucket though. To be able to grab stuff like this. at the same time. I don't know what's right there, but there's a lot of water coming out of that spot. thinking about putting some dirt there but all I'm going to do is block it on the neighbor's property so I can't really do that Dirt 
and I'll just pile it up and we'll get the off-road truck. Just come over here and load it up, pile it up there then. Got options. Definitely have options. All right, I want to finish grabbing these trees right here and getting them piled up up here out of the way. And then grade a little bit more. Get in a full day working out of town. You try to get as much done as possible. A little bit later getting down here than I wanted to, but it's a little drive, so. Get a full day in. So I'm kind of getting a feel for all the grades up here now. And digging this head section out so I'm just kind of rounding this off right here and I think I'm just gonna make a big pile up there it's just gonna be the easiest thing to do is to put all the sediment up there and then he will have some topsoil what we were gonna do is add it to the bank over here I'm not saying I'm not gonna add some of that to the bank but there's more up here than I thought so it's not gonna work out by adding it there, I'm gonna run out of room, so what's gonna happen. So I pile all this up right here and come up here with the 350 and grab it and then transfer it back. Because I am 100% not putting that big thing out here. <laughs> it might, I don't know if it would hold it up or not. It might but you don't get the biggest machine stuck because then you have a problem. Plus I need my cleanup bucket. Grade everything out. since I've done a dredge and I'm kind of excited to play in the mud a little bit. It is some black dirt down here. I'm definitely more south and east than I normally work. The dirt gets black down here. and it just turns to liquid. So I'm trying to use that pile of dry stuff there to kind of act as a little coffer dam as I transfer this stuff back. So if we didn't dig this cove out when the pond filled up, it would have been very shallow and pretty much a bigger swamp. So get this dug out then as it fills up obviously it'll cover everything up nothing else will grow and there'll be a nice little cove of water up here by these houses right now the grade is right there and the water is like maybe six inches above it so I think I got a good three to four feet here now that up a little bit but sitting here looking at it all it's going to do is just block water from flowing down here so pull an edge around here to the pond and carry on
set the camera up tomorrow, get some more exciting outdoor shots and some time lapses. Everything will look a lot better tomorrow. I figure about a day and a half in the dredging here, so should get the uh, majority of that done tomorrow. Sun's going down, so I'm going to call it a day today. Got uh, all the trees cleared up there. Got a big pile of brush there now. Uh, dam cleared, all the trees across there. Came down here, started cleaning up this pond bank all the way down. And took all my logs right here that I cut, kind of using those as mats. Got all that cleaned up, piled up right here. What we're going to end up doing is uh, transferring it up here and just stockpiling it up here on the uh, flat area up here at the pond where it can dry and be used for other stuff. Uh, originally I was going to kind of spread it on the bank right here but as wet as it is it's just not staying where it needs to stay so uh, come back down here tomorrow and finish getting all this slicked up and all the mess hauled out. <laughs>